My message today is called Our Purpose. What? Many of us walk around as Christians and we still have not a clue. Well, come on, come on. We think our purpose is about name it, claim it, <laughs> Cadillacs, well, Diamond Come rings. on, come on. Well, but we are so far off the mark. Well, I want to first start by answering a question for you. Because I used to ask this question before I realized what my purpose was. Well, and that question was, what kind of a God would allow? Come on, come on. And you can put anything at the end of it you want. <laughs> but what kind of a God would allow? Well, well, let me remind you of a couple of things that we need to keep in mind when we deal with that question. Well, God tried it with Adam by giving him everything when he placed him in the garden. Well, well, Yet he and Eve, they messed it up. Come on now. So God said, now you're going to have to work for what you want. Come on, come on, amen. But after a period of time, Man became so corrupt that God wiped them out with a flood, saved Noah and his folk. Well, well. Man failed again. Well. Come on, come on. God raised up Moses and brought his people out of captivity. Yes. Well, right. come on. This time he gave them a playbook. <laughs> the well. Ten Commandments, the law, which basically said, do this, this will happen. Reward, well. punishment. Do the right thing, you'll reward. If you do the wrong thing, this is the punishment. Well, we still mess it up because we went back into captivity. Well, come on. So God said, now I'm going to do one last thing for you. Well. He said, Jesus Christ. This time there's no rule book, but it's about your moral fortitude within your heart. Yes. Love. Are we prepared to do the right thing based on love? Well. And since Christ has been here, this is the new test for us to fulfill our ultimate purpose. Now let me answer that question, what kind of a God would allow? God allows suffering in this world so that when the end game comes, nobody will have any excuses because he would have allowed us to do it our way four times. And we fail each time. That's why there is suffering in the world. Christ said, if we're going to be like him, separate ourselves from the world. Be not of the world, well, but be set apart. Well, but he did not elaborate in so many words as to why you should set yourself apart. Yes, well, and that's what I am going to cover this morning in yes, our purpose. Yes, well, we're going to start with the book of Ezekiel. For those of you that want to read along with me, well, you may. <clears throat> Let me tell you a little bit about Ezekiel. Well. It gives little detail about Ezekiel's life. But yeah. in it, he is mentioned twice by name in 1 and 3 and 24 and 24. Well. Ezekiel is a priest. Yes. The son of Buzai. Well. Well. And his name means God will strengthen. Yeah. Well. He was one of the Israelite exiles yeah. who settled at a place called Tel Aviv well, on the banks well, of Chibar right. in the land of the Chaldeans. Yeah. Well, the place is thus not identical to modern city Tel Aviv, uh -huh. which is, however, named after it. Well, he was probably carried away captive with Jehoiakim, one of the kings of Israel, well, uh, around 597 B.C. Israel's greatest miracle consisted in his re uh, recitation of the dead. I didn't say resurrection. Recitation of the dead, which is recounted in chapter 37 of the book of Ezekiel. Now let me do a little overview before I move on and tell you what I'm going to read to you concerning Israel. I'm sorry, Ezekiel and his prophecy. In the past, I have taught on the where we are in Christ as it relates to the inner court, the outer court, and the most holy place. Yeah. I dealt with, ask yourself, where are you in Christ? Yeah. Come on, come on, amen. Because to get from point A to point B, you have to know where you started from. That's yes. well, amen. I have taught on the how. We are to live in Christ through what I term progressive sanctification. Yeah. Well, 
what Paul talks about, I press towards the mark. We're uh-huh. supposed to get better each day yeah. as uh-huh. we live. Yeah. Amen. Today I am teaching on the what, our purpose. Well. What we are to do <clears throat> as Christians in our daily lives. Yeah. How we are to fulfill our purpose. Well. Now I have some other teachings which I'm not going to talk about today, but in those I deal with the who and the when, but that is for another time. Well. Let me pray this brief prayer before I get into it. Dear Lord, you have a mouth to speak yes, Lord. and a hand to write. Yes, Lord. I pray that we should find an ear to hear yes. and an eye to read. Oh, yes, Lord. And may you, God, give us a heart to profit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, Ezekiel 37, 4 and 11. Mm-hmm. Again, he said unto me, prophesy over these bones. Uh, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Jehovah. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Thus saith the Lord Jehovah unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, yes. and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up, bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Jehovah. Amen. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, an earthquake. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I be- beheld, and lo, there were sinews upon them, and flesh came up, and skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, Come From the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are clean cut off. Well, let's examine what this is about. I don't recall in recent history any earthquakes where a bunch of people came up out of the ground and lived again. And I don't think any of you recall (laughs) such an event taking place. So that means it must be a future event that he is speaking of. Well, it is a future event. This prophecy has not happened yet. It is not an account of creation. So we weren't talking about the creation. Where? Where? Because when we spoke of the creation, he started with just one man. Where? And one woman. Where? Not a whole bunch of dead people that had died and come back to life. Where? This is not the judgment. Where? Because he isn't talking about anybody standing before God and books being opened. So we're certainly not talking about the judgment. Where? Where? And we are also not talking about being in heaven. It's talking about the whole house of Israel, these people being brought up from the dust here on this earth. So we are not dealing with going to heaven when we talk about this prophecy. But I'm going to explain it to you as we move forward. Have you ever wondered about all that have lived, died, and never heard the word of God? I ask myself a lot of questions about things that I read in the Bible and things that I just happen to wonder about because I want to know. Study to show thyself approved. And I ask myself, now I know that there are people that have lived and never heard about Jesus Christ or salvation. What about them? What about the ones who live but never really have an opportunity to serve Christ because there's no one around to really teach the true word of God to them. What about them? Paul says God's will is that no man perish. So to me that says God must have something in place that's going to allow everybody an opportunity to serve him or reject him. Let's look at uh, Matthew 24 and 14. 
And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a testimony unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this gospel of the kingdom, well. whole world, mm -hmm. testimony unto all nations. Well. When we say all nations, we mean all nations Amen. that have existed and are gone. Well. Remember I said we tried it our way four times? Mm 